Check it out, guys. This is the 3 0 Robo Duo Shink Gather 1 Black version 3 0 redesign. This, <laughs> this box is huge and it looks awesome. I love the black, I love the highlights with the green. That looks so freaking shiny. This thing looks amazing. I was not expecting this box to be this epic, but it is. This box, it, 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 it's like almost five pounds. And I'm amazed my little, um, my little rotating stand can actually do it. So guys, um, let's unbox this thing. But before we unbox it, there's actually a really cool thing because this box is also a window box so let's check it out okay so let me show you that it's actually a window box because this is my first time seeing this thing in person have not seen any images other than the promotional one so here we go boom look at that beauty look at this this is just awesome i love that you can display it like this this is just great you got the wings you got Shin together here, you got the different hands here. Oh man, this is great. So, I, I love the design, I love that. Let me see if you guys can see it better from here. I love that it has that design there, that looks so cool. Man, this box is awesome. So, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay guys, so let's open it up. Of course, this is the first thing we're gonna do cut this part here and from the looks of it you just cut this and it opens up and there shouldn't be any other problems so that's done oh man the time has come I finally get to hold Shin together in black which is really awesome so, oh man this is just so I cannot believe I'm doing this. Over. Here we go. This is what we have. A lot of plastic, that's for sure. But I love that because this thing has to be protected, that's for sure. So, let me give you guys a better angle. Okay, let's open this baby up. And I'm pretty scared here. Man, long time coming, so let's go. Let's do this. There we go. First layer is off. I gotta say, this is going to be epic. He is heavy. He is really heavy. Like the legs alone just feel so darn good. Ooh, so excited. I, mean, I, I should have worn gloves. Boom. There you go, guys. It looks beautiful. It looks better in person than it does in the picture. It's darn. Look at that. And by the way, you can tell it's the eye gas because. I can feel how cold the metal parts are. Darn, look at this beauty. Just the detailing here. Oh my god, this is just... Oh, they open up individually. I love that. Check it out from the back. This is just... Oh man, this is just awesome. This is so freaking awesome. Here we have the different hands, of course. Nice looking hands as well. The plastic, not die cast. And let me show you the wings here. Oh, these are plastic. Okay, so the wings are plastic. But man, okay, they look teal on the camera, but I'm sure with the color correction, it should look green. They're really green. They actually do look like together rays, which is awesome. Love that. 
don't know what what this is. That's so darn cool. So let's let me cover it up for a second. Let's check out the other plastic box. I still need to see that. This is the instruction booklet, which I'm definitely gonna, you know, show it off soon. And here's the big thing. There are its weapons and the stamp. The metal build has one that is bigger than this. Oh no, this is, this is so cool. This is so cool. Check that out. This is plastic, though. This feels, this is metal, this is plastic. The detailing on this is just. Crazy what they did here. Look at that. Look at that. Looks sharp. Looks sharp and pointy, but it's not. This is pointy. 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 So this is their stand. Huh. So they didn't show this off. So it looks articulated. Yeah. It has articulation. It feels big. Bulky. This actually feels really good, and this is just the base for it. So, I'm guessing this, this, and there you go. Awesome. This, this is pretty darn cool. So, let me give you guys a better look at the figure, obviously. But we're going to start off showing you the instruction manual, and then we'll go over the actual figure itself. Oh yeah, guys! I forgot to show you guys the scarf. Yes, the scarf is. In a little baggie just behind freaking shin gather. Has the wires inside it by the way, so this looks pretty darn cool. So cannot wait to put it on this guy. So it looks pretty darn cool. You guys can see here it has the wires inside it so you're gonna be able to move around it feels good really nice material that they use for it so cannot wait and this is fabric obviously so I cannot wait to put it on chain together Guys, this guy is huge. She's standing nine inches tall, pretty much. And the colors are beautiful. It's a lot darker than I thought the blacks were gonna be, and the greens look awesome. You can see the detailing with all the freaking like dust and dirt that it has on it. Wow, this is pretty awesome. Like I said on the unboxing. This thing feels heavy. He is really heavy. And I love that. He feels so darn solid. Man, he's gonna be a fingerprint magnet, obviously. But I just love it. Now, I know what you're thinking, Cyril, how do you put the freaking scarf on it? Well, we'll get to that really soon. But I do want to point out just the scale to this guy is just great. So much detailing on it. And the other thing is, 
This is not a 100% version of Armageddon, of course. Not 100% accurate to that. This one is between, I've heard people say that this is between uh, Goki and a... Which was this other company? Um, gosh, I forgot, the Sentinel one, something like that. Um, and I agree, it's between some of those designs, but this design just works so well for me. And like I said before, one of the big reasons that I got this chain together was because of the color scheme. The color scheme here is great. It's what you want from a ch black chain gather because you have the black colors from Ryoma's gather, black gather, but you also have the colors from chain gather as well. And they don't clash. It's not like the middle bill dragon scale that they're gonna do that is gonna be black. Uh, it has red and it has just a bunch of colors all over and it doesn't really make sense for it. But this guy, to me, it, it, it's just awesome. So, let me show you guys how to actually put on the scarf because it's actually pretty cool. Okay guys, how do you put the scarf? Well, before that, you have to do something. You have to take the scarf here and you just have to make sure that it's circular. And after that, you're gonna pop the head off according to what the instruction says. It says pop the head off. There we go. It's off. Now you put the scarf here. Make sure it's aligned properly. And check it out. The scarf even has the little shape here so it doesn't hinder the articulation which is pretty awesome that they did that. And by the way, this is a very solid joint. And there you pop it in there. And there you go. You have the scarf on it. Of course, you can just move it all around. Doesn't look like it hinders the articulation or anything. This is awesome right there. Okay guys, let me show you the articulation and decide to do this by section. So let's start off with the head of course. Now the head can go down that much, which is quite a lot can go up this much remember the neck also has articulation so it can move sideways like this which is pretty awesome that he can do that he can pretty much do the chicken bob the head can go right that much and left this much no problem which is awesome man that's so really nice detail that it has and the movement it feels so freaking natural that's just great. I love that. Now, shoulders. As you can see here, the arm can go up that much, but you can actually have more articulation here to get it even higher. And the shoulder pack here does move as well, even if it doesn't have that much, but as you can see there, yeah, butterfly joints, which is great that he does have them. Now, of course, the articulation here on the shoulder, I, I gotta say, he has the swivel here as well, which is like great. And the shoulder, as you can see, boom, boom, boom. That is beautiful. Now, remember, you have the articulations here. You can open and close, which is awesome. And I love how this part separates here. Let me show you. You guys a very look there. That's just great. I love that. The hands are pretty much on a ball joint from the looks of it. Yeah. Which is great. Let's go to the app wrench here. Let's see. He looks he moves very, very well here. Check that out to the sides. Look at that crunch. Look at that. That's a beautiful crunch for going down. Oh, that's just that's just great man. Turn it up again. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is really awesome. Darn. Now this part here, as you can see, opens and closes. So the belt part here. Really darn cool. That's 
That's so great that they added that. I love this. I love this. Having it open and closed so you have the full range of articulation which is awesome there. Now the final part which is pretty much the legs. So uh, up this much which is a lot. He can pretty much do a good amount of splits there. I mean I don't know why you would need more honestly. Um, so up knee I love how the knee and love how this falls and even more this one is so freaking big and I love it I love the feeling of it now of course you have toe articulation here this just goes up and this goes side to side yeah side to side front and back that's pretty much it that does it for the articulation of this guy it's pretty awesome and this guy is heavy okay guys let's put the wings on it so let's see how this goes from the instructions is pretty easy uh, you're just gonna pop them in here pretty sure that's what the instructions said Let's see. Yeah, they go in pretty darn fine, and they do have good articulation also. So that's pretty cool. So I'm guessing just fold them up first, and then just put them in there. Let me just yeah. It's pretty stiff right now, so that one goes there. And this one goes here but yeah if they're hitting each other just move the articulation a little bit more you know like this part here just get them like this so there won't be any problems there so push them all the way in and there we go we got the wings on it so let me show you the articulation okay so the articulation on the wings is actually pretty interesting because not only do you have this one here so you guys can see there it goes up it goes down pretty nice but I think you also have uh, no okay I thought you could move this one here I thought these had articulation but they don't okay that's okay um, you can also move them side to side from here which is very nice that it does have that point of articulation let me show from the back here so as you can see which is pretty cool they can go up from here uh, you can actually go full 360 if you want to and down so this is some really good articulation for the wings I mean the only gripe is that I wish there was articulation here so you can have a little bit more freedom you know, be able to move this part to size, but hey, it's working great. And here it is, guys. Look at that wingspan, and it has no problem standing up. This is amazing, honestly. The wings look great, and by the way, they look a lot greener in real life. Hopefully, after I do um, post processing and all that, it will look way better but I gotta say the clear green plastic is awesome looks very darn good and just having this guy here is amazing so I know what you're wondering how how wide are those wings well let me get my tape measure and we'll see okay so the wings are fully expanded so from this tip to this tip the wingspan is Oh wow, yeah, you can Guys, I hope you guys can see this. But it's clocking in at around 21 inches in wingspan. That is crazy. Those are, those are a lot, I think. Well, let me get them, actually. Let me get them. 
These are the Mazenkaiser ones. And let's fully extend those. Darn. It, it, it is pretty close. It is pretty close because these ones are bent on an angle. These ones are straight. But it's pretty darn close to those. I was not expecting that. And by the way, if you were wondering about the size, like I said, it's 9 inches tall at the start of the video. But let me just measure it for real here. Yeah, 9 inches to the head, to the forehead. Yeah, almost 10. It, it could go for almost 10 inches tall. So that is pretty darn cool. Okay, guys. How do you attach this to this? Very easy. You just pop it in here. Like so. You twist it a little bit. And that should be far enough. There you go. That's how you get the side and the tomahawk done. And they both look great darn amazing. Okay guys, so the hands here, you're just gonna you know, remove the top part and you're just gonna slide it here. Now it's a little bit tricky, but there we go. And then you just tap it off and man, it's so hot here. But yeah, you just cap it off and there you go. Well, since I know how much you guys are going to find out how long are these, well, let's do this. I'll well, we'll do this. So, as you guys can see there, this one is almost 16 inches long. This one, this one is obviously a lot shorter. Darn, that's a lot, that's a crazy amount. This is just how this world that this thing is so, <laughs> so freaking long. This is gonna be awesome to pose. So, let's go and check out some poses. Finally. <laughs> Okay guys, I know what you're thinking. How do I attach the stand, right? Well, you have to remove this part here. It can be a little bit of pain. You might have to do, go left side and then the right side. But after you do that, the stand is gonna, just gonna attach to it. And let me raise it up a little bit here. And make sure it's there properly. And there you go. It's attached to the stand. So it's just up to do. 
what you're gonna do with it next. Well guys, final thoughts. As you guys can see there, the size difference is pretty darn awesome. That's so cool. Um, this guy, amazing. I like the articulation, it's great. All the poses that you can do, um, the detailing on it, the wings look amazing again. On the freaking camera, it turns out to be teal, but it's actually a dark green. If the same dark green you have seen all over the body, that's it. So I guess it's just depending how the lighting hits it. But it looks beautiful. The other thing is, man, the colors. Like I said, the gold looks great. The black looks great. The white looks great. All the scuff marks, all the dirt marks, everything looks awesome. And I gotta say, here's let's take a closer look here because you can see that the chest, you can see the inside of the rib cage, you can see where the heart or generator would be. Even on the legs, there is those little green parts. Yeah, it doesn't have opening and closing hatches or anything that you can actually remove to show off the inside. But it looks great and that head looks amazing. I love the red tears that they added to the face. That looks so darn awesome. And of course, the scarf. It's awesome, but you know, it's a uh, lint and fur magnet. You know, that's the problem. So, if you have a pet, it's gonna get there, but you can clean it easily, you know. And man, it just the weapons themselves, I love how sharp they look, but they're not sharp and they're pretty easy to use. The only thing was the hand putting them on. Um, they fit in, fit in there really snugly so that's the only problem you know it, it's a good grip but it's kind of hard to put them in there and the stand i found that the stand does have a problem and is um right where it attaches to the figure it tends to it looks like they didn't design it properly and it tends to slide out and that is a problem that's a big problem so you have to pose it look at the stand from the side or from behind and as soon as you see that there's a little bit of clipping like it is pulling out just push it back in and it should be good I, it, it didn't fall by the way so that is good and like I said the design is just awesome it's an awesome design um, this guy is expensive but it's not ex as expensive as the metal bill dragon scale Man, I paid 187 US dollars for it. And trust me, I searched a lot of other websites and besides 30 that had it for 150, I wasn't able to find it. Honestly, which was a little bit weird. But hey, um, I know this is just a repaint, but it's a repaint that's really worth it. Like this is just awesome and I'm probably gonna display this guy on my shelf. He's gonna look amazing then. You can see that <laughs> the infinitism isn't that tall, nor is the high grade. 
Chain, um, why have we gonna say Chain Gather? No, the Infinity and Gather Dragon and the High Grade Gather Arc. But his duel is gonna look nice. I mean, Chain Gather is supposed to be. I think Chain Gather is supposed to be way taller than Arc and Dragon. I think it depends on it. But I'm really happy with this. Um, really close to completing my dream of having um, my Super Robot Wars team. This was one of the big pieces and now I have it and I cannot wait to get the Bliss Wave Mask and Geyser because this guy is tall. That guy is 2 inches taller. Well no, 9, yeah, 10, 11, 12, 3 inches taller and wider, 6 inches wide. Like the chest is 6 inches wide so uh, that's gonna be gigantic. <laughs> yeah. I know from the poses you guys probably saw that my little studio isn't preparing that well so I'm gonna have to upgrade that a little bit you know but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time.